Well, I was actually sitting at the side of it, so I had a good view of everything behind the sides, and it was just fantastic. Absolutely brilliant. I'm obsessed by things like Dynamo, Darren Brown, and things like that, and he was up there with that, and it was absolutely brilliant. Sure, that you have your exercise in front of my clothes. Just like the set at home. Smaller. Of the variety that they've got, there's a lot of comedy, the magic, the illusions, the singing. It's nice because there's something for everybody. So there's a, a nice whole bag of stuff going in there. So everyone, everyone in the audience is always kept happy. And the way here in the car, I hit these two old ladies. Don't know why. I just got out the car and slapped them. It's difficult to pick a highlight of the show, but I would have to say it's probably my jokes. Hmm. Might have to go and convince Jen though. For the routines that we were writing, we were looking for something that encompassed the singing and the magic together in one trick without it being like the classic cheesy magician. So we found a way of making a trick relevant to the song by putting it with the song The Rose and then floating a rose to that song. It taps into people's emotions, which is something that's very, very difficult to do when you're performing magic. I think there's a really nice chemistry. I think you can tell that they bounce off each other really well and the chemistry that they've got that, that they obviously and the energy that they've got that they put into the act makes it special, it makes it unique, which is really good. Tricks, I think, is the best trick in the show. Intelligent Marketing, Governor Media.